Fiona's grandfather married Evelyn Crouch in Aberdeen on the 17th of December 1930. But her father, Frederick Charles Crouch, wasn't a fisherman, but a soldier. This is my grandfather, Frederick Charles. So this is Frederick Charles, mm. who was married to her, to Isabella. That's right. And he and was killed. He was killed in the First World War? Yeah. Oh, yes, Captain F.C. Crouch died of wounds. And do you know anything about how he died, or...? He was with a group of officers, and all of them ducked, except him. Oh, no! Yes. Oh, no! God, what an amazing story that everyone ducked, and that he mm. didn't. What I'd like to find out about great-grandpa Fred is where did he come from? Why was he in the army? I don't know anything about that side of the family. I don't know anything about him until today. Who was he? Apart from a photograph, I just don't know. Fiona's on her way to meet one of Frederick's granddaughters, Hilary McPherson. We've delved into the attic. Right. Chest. So this is Frederick, this is Isabella. So... Great picture. That's Nanny. Yes, Evelyn, your granny. Oh, oh, yes, no, yes. Look at she that. She is still very recognisable. She is. Even. And that resembles those eyebrows as well. Maybe mm -hmm. that's where it all comes from. Yes. It's and the Dad. eyebrows are a thing in your The eyebrows family. are yes, a thing. Yes, yes. What made you think that? Your, I can't think. Yours could, could do an act on the own. Yes, I exactly. Yes. yes, I know way less about that. <laughs> and he died. I mean, Dad told me the story about how everyone ducked and he didn't or something. Yes. That mm -hmm. was the end of it. There's a letter that my mother wrote when she was 95, and this was in response to one of your relatives who was delving into the family history. Our father, Frederick Charles Crouch, him. Yes, indeed, the very man. Was born in London within the Sound of Bow Bells, I believe, in 1881. Our father's father was a portrait painter. Painted society ladies in the main, I think. We have no picture of him at all. Oh, don't we? No. What a shame. No. Or any of his portraits. No, we have nothing. The children's mother died. And when he remarried, our father and Ted didn't like their stepmother, so they both ran away. So Frederick joined the army, the RGA. What's the RGA? Royal Garrison Artillery. I think Frederick was about 17 then when he so joined. He, so Frederick disliked his stepmother so much, he ran away successfully, and he then stayed away? Yes, and so did his older brother, Ted. Joined the army and eventually, of course, died in the army. Mm -hmm. And I can remember the happy times when our father came home on leave. He was slim, fairly tall and smart with fairish hair, a ginger moustache and blue-grey eyes. I remember the day the wire came and we were all crying. Mm -hmm. when he was killed. Mm -hmm. He'd been home on leave and was just back at Ypres for three weeks. Mm -hmm. He got shrapnel wounds in the chest, was taken to a field hospital, but died right away. He'd not been well, went home on leave, but apparently was desperate to get back. It's hard to understand, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A fellow officer was standing beside him when he was wounded. He'd thrown himself to the ground, but our father hadn't bothered. Hadn't bothered, hadn't known to do it, who knows, you no. know. 